Hey guys, Derek from Dependable here, and if you're having trouble keeping your employees, hiring good employees, this is a video for you. It's almost problematic, can't sleep because I'm so excited to go to work the next day. I'm gonna talk about how to hire, how to keep and retain the best employees, okay? The goal here, we don't wanna hire just an average person, they come in, ah, it's Monday again, I'm here for work, and they just kinda of go through the motions. Not our goal here. Our goal is how do we hire and how do we retain, most importantly, the best employees that money can buy. And number one is money, right? We all go to work to make money, and you want somebody that of course, isn't just money motivated. You want them to be future motivated, but they're gonna be motivated by money. So that means some of the business owners I run into, you can't keep all the money for yourself, first and foremost. And that's rule number one, if you wanna grow any business, you gotta put money back into the business. And it's not just advertising and expansion, it's people. You need to put money into people. And nowadays, people do not just have to work in their backyard. They can work online. They can live in Atlanta, work for Google in California. The possibilities are endless. So you need to differentiate yourself in order to attract and retain the right talent. Pay them fairly, right? Not only do we wanna pay them fairly, but we want to tie them into the revenue, right? We don't wanna give away the store and say, hey, come work for me, here's a million dollars. No, but we want to give them the opportunity, right? Think of the old, uh, you know, the old uh, string on your forehead with the carrot and it's dangling on the treadmill. That's what you want, except you want them to get somewhere, right? So it's, hey, you're gonna come work for me and we're gonna pay you this amount, but if you hit this target, you're gonna get this bonus. If you hit this target, you're gonna get this bonus. And if you hit this target and you make that for the super high achievers, you're gonna hit you know, a, a great bonus, right? What I do in my company, every single person gets paid based on revenue and production, period. Hands down, end of story, every single person. Every single one is connected to revenue and we incentivize them by giving them retroactive bonuses. So for an example, anybody on our sales team, if you sell like a normal sales job, tier this, you get this commission. Tier two, you get this commission. Tier three, you get this commission plus for the beginning half of the month, all that tier one and tier two that you already got paid for, we're gonna give you another 2% bonus retroactively. And that really helps for the end of the month production. So good compensation package that is connected to revenue is crucial. That will help you attract the right people and retain the right people. Number two, lead by example. If you're one of these people that own a company and you just wanna sit there, put your feet up, you are never going to attract the right talent. We always used to say, look, right? What does the alcoholic attract? People that like to drink. What does the hard worker attract? People that are hard workers. And the reason is because they're not gonna surround themselves with people that are not like them. Human beings by nature wanna surround themselves with people that are like them. So you, you wanna surround yourself with good people, be a good person, be the hardest working guy in the room, show up early, stay late, lead by example where people are like, hey, what's wrong with that guy? Number three. Let everybody know the plan for the future, right? Any person nowadays that's hungry, that's a go-getter, they wanna know, hey, what's the plan, right? It's like a coach in a football team. What's the plan for the future? Where's the company going? And I always tell people when they join our company, it's like a vehicle and we're the driver, right? We're on a ship and it's sailing and it's going to the destination, right? And my job is to protect the ship and you're welcome to be on board the ship and we are sailing to the top. And you really wanna do a good job and letting them know the future and what is possible, right? We always say here at our company, you're not just part of our company and our family, but you're part of history because not everybody in their lifetime has that opportunity. And that brings me to number four, genuinely be after creating an opportunity that betters other people's lives, period. If you better your customers' lives, your business will grow. If you better your employees' lives, 
you'll have the best employees. For us, we truly focus on how to better their lives and really provide them an opportunity and a chance to succeed and a chance to grow, okay? And that brings me to number five. Give them not only a goal, not only something they can grow, show them examples, right? Keep people in the company moving forward. Hey, this is Alberto. He's worked with me from the beginning. He started here, now he's here. So you let them know the possibilities and you back it up. This isn't an all talk game. You know, you gotta walk the walk. So you, you really need to, to look at yourself first in the mirror because I can't tell you how many people tell us, oh, it's so hard to find good people. And I was just talking about this the other day with my production manager. It's because you're not a good person. Be honest about it at least, okay? Doesn't mean you're a bad person with evil intent, but are you really bettering their lives? Are you really providing them an opportunity that you yourself would really be excited about, right? Because if you're like me and you're really passionate, really excited, can't wait to tell your staff like, hey guys, got a great idea for next year, got a great idea for next quarter. If, if that's not really happening, then you gotta start with square one, which is you, the owner, the company, the manager, right? And really get people excited. Create something that gives them the opportunity to better their lives, okay? Find out who they know, who they know that might be interested, and you will certainly attract more qualified people and more importantly you'll retain your employees okay you want to treat everybody of course with respect uh, i mean we like to say here we're an employee-owned company right we value everybody's opinion and that's another big one make sure you listen to your employees they will talk most people don't just leave right they don't just say hey i'm out of here they voice their opinion obviously you can't please everybody but Give everybody input before there's a problem. Don't just say, hey, the door's open. I used to love that in corporate world. Door, open door policy. Like you're welcome to come in and talk about your problems. It's like, well, why don't we do something before there's a problem? Why don't we have meetings regularly that isn't just about numbers and where the company's going? That's important, but where are the employees at? How's everybody feel? If you could change something here, what would it be, right? because then you slowly are evolving, right? It's a, it's a work in progress, no matter how good you are. And that is the end little bonus tip is never be standing still, patting yourself on the back, like, oh, I've created a great place to work. I like to believe in the bottom of my heart, my personal company is an exceptional place to work, right? Literally, I, I do not know of a company that does things the way we do. People can feel the energy. We just had our holiday party. I mean, the staff of the hotel doesn't even know us and they can, feel it. They're like, wow, you have such a great group of guys. And you really, really don't want to stand still and pat yourself on the back. You want to always be making it better. Little tweaks, little tweaks, listen to their opinions, make everybody feel included, treat them like family, and you'll solve your hiring and your staff problem. Because by the way, word gets out of what type of company it is to work for. There's even websites out there that uh, are, you know, what is it like working here? What is it like working there? So start at square one, okay? Listen to them, treat them right, get excited, hardest working one in the room, and you too can have a great staff for your business, your future, and your family's future. Thank you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, any tricks on what you do to hire and retain employees. It's always a big topic. Leave them in the comments below. Thank you.